Every year, more than 700 million lead-acid batteries are produced. That's nearly 23 units rolling off the line every single second, enough to power the entire global fleet of automobiles on the road today. Yet few realize that behind the small electric heart of every vehicle lies a production line engineered with precision down to the finest detail. From the rigorous preparation of raw materials to the fabrication of electrode grids to the charging and final inspection, what makes this seemingly ordinary battery endure for more than a century, defying the waves of modern battery technologies? Join us on the journey of how the lead-acid battery is made and discover why, for over 100 years, it has remained an essential link in keeping the modern world in motion. Today, lead-acid batteries still dominate the industry, consuming nearly 85% of the world's lead supply, more than 11 million tons each year. Though they have existed for just over a century, these batteries remain difficult to replace in many applications. With reasonable cost, proven durability, and steady performance, the lead-acid battery has become a reliable source of energy for automobiles and trucks alike. It is precisely because of their high durability and stable performance that these batteries are widely applied in renewable energy projects, industrial systems, and countless other networks, all of which depend on a consistent power supply to operate effectively. The critical role of lead-acid batteries is also clearly reflected in the global market, with the United States standing as one of the leading nations in both the production and consumption of automotive batteries. This reality underscores that, even after more than 160 years of existence, the lead-acid battery remains a steadfast pillar, providing reliable energy and ensuring the continuous operation of the global automotive industry. Before becoming the source of energy for an engine, a battery begins with the preparation of its raw materials. Lead mined from deep within the earth must be carefully refined to eliminate impurities, for even the smallest flaw could disrupt the entire production line. Sulfuric acid is then produced at a precise density, since any deviation in concentration would directly affect the battery's lifespan and performance. This solution is typically created by dissolving sulfur trioxide gas into purified water, then cooled and tightly regulated to maintain stability. At the same time, polypropylene, a durable, heat-resistant plastic, arrives in the factory as tiny pellets, later molded into robust casings capable of resisting corrosion and protecting the inner structure. But before entering the assembly line, all of these materials must undergo strict quality inspections. A single irregularity can halt production, ensuring everything meets the standard for the next stage. Have you ever wondered how many batteries humanity requires each year to sustain the immense momentum of the global automotive industry? Did you know that the power of an entire battery begins with a detail so small that most people hardly notice it? It is the manufacturing of the electrode grid, the component that determines the formation of the active material that generates electricity. Metal sheets are fed into a press, stamped into grid frames filled with countless tiny openings. This very structure not only makes the frame lighter, but also provides the perfect anchor for the active material that will later be applied. Once the grid has been shaped, it passes through an automated inspection system. Here, machines immediately detect any sheet that is warped or uneven. Only those that meet the standards are kept, while defective ones are removed. The approved grids are then cut into two types positive and negative plates, the critical elements responsible for storing and delivering energy. In many ways, creating the electrode grid is like laying the foundation of a house. If the foundation is solid, the entire battery can operate reliably and endure through years of service. Once the lead grid is complete, the process advances into its core stage applying the electrochemical active material. Put simply, this is the moment when the grid is coated with a paste of lead oxide, water, and additives, transforming it from a simple metal frame into a surface capable of generating energy. 
Inside massive industrial mixers, the thick slurry of lead oxide, water, and additives is continuously blended. Each batch must be perfectly moist and homogeneous, because even the smallest deviation can compromise the battery's performance. The paste is then fed into an automated system, which spreads the mixture evenly across the entire surface of the lead grid. The tiny openings within the grid are filled with the active material, expanding the contact area so that electrochemical reactions can take place efficiently. In the following stage, the plates enter industrial drying ovens that stretch for tens of meters. Here, temperature and hot air circulation are precisely regulated to drive out moisture and create a firm surface. Once dry, the plates undergo curing, controlled heat and humidity treatment over many hours. This process strengthens the crystalline bonds, enhancing both mechanical durability and electrical conductivity. With the completed plates, the process moves into the cell assembly area, where every step of integration is carried out under strict control. Here, automated robotic systems execute each program task with precision, lifting each positive and negative plate and stacking them alternately in the correct order. Between these plates, the robot inserts a thin transparent separator. This material not only insulates, but also ensures a stable electrochemical reaction. The separator acts as a barrier, preventing direct contact between plates that could cause short circuits, while still allowing the sulfuric acid electrolyte to flow evenly across the surfaces so the reactions occur efficiently. Once the plates are stacked and secured within a molded frame, automated welding equipment connects the terminals, binding the assembly into a solid, uniform block. At this point, a fundamental unit of the battery, known as a cell, is officially formed, delivering a nominal voltage of about 2 volts. The entire process is monitored under rigorous quality control, ensuring that each cell not only operates reliably, but also maintains long-lasting durability. From individual 2-volt cells, the manufacturing process advances to assembly. Six cells are carefully arranged inside a specialized plastic casing, engineered to resist corrosion, absorb vibration, and protect the battery over years of service. This material is chosen for its chemical resistance and impact durability, ensuring the battery maintains stable performance. The casing itself is divided into separate chambers, securing each cell in place while preventing any movement that could cause damage during vehicle operation. Once the cells are fixed inside the housing, the next step is to weld their terminals together using conductive metal strips. At this stage, manual craftsmanship combines with specialized welding equipment to create strong, reliable connections capable of carrying high electrical loads. Immediately afterward, every weld is inspected with load testers and precision scopes to detect any flaws. Cells that fail to meet the standard are rejected before the process can continue. When all steps are complete, a 12-volt battery block takes shape with its mechanical and electrochemical structure arranged in perfect order, ready to move on to the filling of acid in the charging process that will complete its function as a stable power source for engines. Before being introduced into each cell, the electrolyte is diluted to the precise density and cooled to a safe level. Each battery casing is then placed into an automated filling system where calibrated nozzles dispense the exact amount of acid required for every cell. Level sensors monitor continuously, shutting off instantly once the design limit is reached to prevent overflow or shortage. After charging, the batteries are placed on vibrating conveyors ensuring the electrolyte inside is evenly distributed while eliminating any trapped air bubbles. Once this step is complete, the units move to leak testing, performed under pressurized conditions to detect potential weaknesses in welds or the plastic casing. On advanced production lines, thermal scanning technology is also applied to identify irregularities deep within the battery. As a result, only those units meeting absolute safety standards are cleared to proceed, while any defective products are isolated for further handling. Given the high risk involved, workers in the acid filling area do not engage directly. Instead, they supervise operations from control rooms, while ventilation and acid vapor recovery systems run continuously at full capacity. 
This sealed sequence of operations, combined with multiple layers of inspection, ensures that by the end of this stage, the battery is perfected both in its electrolyte content and its resistance to leakage. The battery now enters the stage of initial charging, a crucial process that activates its ability to store energy for an automobile engine. This is a decisive moment, for it determines whether the battery can truly become a stable source of power. Inside specialized charging rooms, powerful currents are directed through each individual cell. Through this process, the active material coating the plates undergoes transformation, forming a structure with superior conductivity. It is this very conversion that lays the foundation for the battery's capacity to store energy and deliver electricity to the entire system in the future. To ensure the procedure runs safely and uniformly, thousands of batteries are neatly arranged on racks, wired in parallel to receive steady current, while monitoring devices continuously track voltage, current, and temperature. Any minor fluctuation is instantly detected and corrected by automated systems. Moreover, the charging process, extended over many hours, stabilizes the oxide structures within the plates, allowing them to reach a durable state. By the end of this stage, the battery has achieved the condition necessary to store and release energy. And thus, from its most basic components, the block has been completed, emerging as a stable and reliable source of power for millions of journeys. Although the charging process is complete, the battery is not yet ready to leave the factory. Each unit is transferred to the marking and inspection station, where the final details are applied with meticulous care. Automated pumps coat the terminals with a protective layer of specialized resin, red for the positive terminal, blue or green for the negative. This simple but vital step ensures instant recognition, guaranteeing that installation later on will be both safe and precise. At the same time, the branding and technical labels are affixed to every casing. These markings are more than decoration. They serve as the official record for traceability and proof of quality. Logos, batch numbers, voltage ratings, and safety warnings are all added in this stage, turning each block from a generic piece of hardware into an identifiable product ready for the global market. Before moving forward, Factory workers conduct rigorous manual inspections. They examine the tightness of the lids, check for any hairline cracks in the casing, and confirm that the color markings on the terminals are clear and durable. These final checks reflect not only technical precision, but also the human responsibility behind every product, a quiet assurance that each battery can be trusted in the hands of its future owner. Only then is the journey complete. Pallets of batteries leave the plant and arrive at automotive assembly lines. Here the units are lifted and installed into vehicles of every kind. Compact cars, powerful trucks, and buses that carry thousands of passengers daily. Technicians secure the batteries into their designated compartments, connect the marked terminals to the wiring harness, and perform diagnostic checks to confirm flawless operation. With one final click of the clamp, the once silent block of lead and acid becomes the beating heart of a vehicle, ready to deliver power on demand. From factory floor to the engine bay, this transition marks the culmination of countless steps in design, engineering, and craftsmanship. Each battery, small in appearance yet massive in importance, now begins its second life. Not as a product on a conveyor, but as the silent source of energy driving millions of journeys forward. From blocks of refined lead, clear pools of sulfuric acid, and tiny plastic pellets, modern technology has forged the durable lead-acid battery. At first glance, the final product appears to be nothing more than a simple black plastic box. Yet inside lies an electrochemical system engineered with painstaking precision, where every plate, every layer of active material, and every welded joint comes together to form the powerful electric heart of millions of vehicles. 
Each battery represents the convergence of mining, chemistry, mechanical engineering, and automation, all working in harmony like an industrial symphony to deliver the stability and reliability that drivers depend on every day. Today, lead acid batteries are not confined to cars, trucks, and buses. They power backup energy systems, support renewable energy projects, and safeguard data centers, places where even a momentary loss of power is unacceptable. For this reason, what may seem ordinary continues to serve quietly as a pillar of modern life, sustaining the rhythm of our interconnected world. If this journey has impressed you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss the chance to step inside more state-of-the-art factories across the globe. Join us as we continue to uncover how industrial technology is transforming what once seemed impossible into reality. One product, one assembly line, one remarkable innovation at a time.